how to pose in wedding photos and don't look like a potato. Welcome to the show where we ask burning questions and try to find answers to it. And you know the drill by now. Well, I get ready for the day. I'm going to title this video for chubby girls, but to be honest, this works for any size. The first thing, avoid pressure. I mean, hopefully nobody's getting pressure into this situation, but... I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about body pressure. So for example, really quick, if I'm a little bit intense, a little bit nervous, I might do something like this. Pressure in my muscle and it definitely expands. But then if I take a chill pill, a mental chill pill, things start to look better. Not only because you're not adding pressure for your arm to look bigger, also you're immediately gonna open all this. So you're ready to shine. Let me give you a close up. Pressure, no pressure. And this step you can use on every part of your body. The double chin might be a problem in my own wedding. Adding a little bit of pressure and then you can see the, the flavor there. Or then you can see the next photo where I'm not applying pressure and how defined my gel looks. I do have a full on special on double chin because I know it's a big concern for a lot of people. And I'm going to link it over here you watch it after this video oh by the way all the products that i'm using and anything that i'm gonna wear i'm gonna leave you the link in the description box fighting awkwardness if you're like i don't know what to do i've been with this dude a long time still it feels like we just met for some reason don't worry this is absolutely normal but remember this my love if you have any doubt just touch each other one thing that we really want to pin down in our wedding photos is that little fact that we love each other. We're meant to be together. This is not a facade. And for that to come across in your body language or be in some sort of connection. Also, in my experience with couples, there's always one that it's like super extrovert and it's like, oh my God, yeah, let's pose and take all these photos. And then the other one is like, I'm just here for the ride. So regardless what's the situation, if you're the one that it feels a little bit more comfortable, please help your partner and just give them a hug or a kiss. Everything in the middle. You don't want to look super disconnected, like it, do we don't actually talk, but then also you don't want to look like it's an adult movie. So things like putting your forehead together, giving a little kiss, touching the chin a little bit, touching the cheek a little bit, all those things are like very cute and beautiful just love gestures that says a lot but still you can show it to your parents you know what i mean and if you're planning your wedding most likely the photographer is going to tell you maybe include in the package and engagement and photo but it's a great way to practice before the wedding another trick for awkwardness it's try to create triangles with your body if you've seen my videos before you know i'm a fan of triangles but there are many ways that you can do that when you're holding your bouquet hand on your waist and even you can do anything that are not that obvious but they are visually triangles like for example holding somebody's hand which goes very linked with the other tip that i gave you of like touch your partner and all this stuff because you're creating triangles 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 it gets a little bit easier also don't be afraid of movement so for example grabbing your dress and moving up your dress or the veil actually moving the veil those are things that make a big difference in the long run and it also gives you more ideas on how to pose if you have a good photographer they're gonna take candid photos for you and it's one of those very few days in your life when somebody can actually take good candid photos because the rest of your life yeah people are not trying to really catch you but that particular day you're hiring somebody to catch you they better catch you fun and crazy photos but do remember that every now and then you don't need to do it the, during the whole wedding have fun dance i enjoy my wedding so much but keep in mind to try to elongate yourself every now and then so you still have your natural photos but instead of maybe being like hey i'm dancing maybe it's like yeah i'm dancing you know trying to have like those shoulders like my makeup it's done would you like to go to a wedding with me i think we should i'm gonna take i'm gonna take this little product in case i get a little bit greasy during the day we're gonna see if we're gonna use it let's go maybe we get a couple ideas for your future wedding babe okay listen for this wedding i was trying to capture details that i thought were really really good ideas for you know future weddings but also there are many questions is my makeup gonna stay nicely am i gonna lose my shoes during the wedding how much overindulgement are we going to face today okay let's start with the wedding so we arrived to the ceremony and so we see the bridesmaids okay number one love this color and this design for a spring wedding we are in cape cod so i do think that it's absolutely perfect for the season that's idea number one then we see the bride 
I mean, she looks absolutely stunning. It's her day. I'm all about it. I'm gonna confess something. I After I got married, I get overly emotional for in weddings. Like, I see the bride and the groom and I'm like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. I know it's cheesy, but I'm being vulnerable right now with you. And if you do feel that way too, please let me know in the comments. Next, we see them at the altar. They're about to give their votes. And I need to pinpoint that my husband is part of the wedding party. Oh my god, he looks great there. They met at last school in Notre Dame friendship at first sight many years later here we are so now the wedding party is gonna take photos while they're taking beautiful photos I'm gonna show you my fit for today and it's this pink dress I love the change of colors and I've used this dress a couple times yes girl you can totally repeat if this dress is available I will totally link it if for today's fit I do have YSL shoes with a very comfortable for dancing okay now that that part's over we're going for the cocktail hour searching for ideas for your future wedding i love the display here while well, the food absolutely amazing i don't know why but the cocktail hour it's always like my favorite part they had this little this is another great idea they had like little cocktails and they were margarita dude they were strong which at this point of the wedding it's not really a good idea to drink a lot of this ones because i don't know how that's gonna end up at the end of the night the reality is that i'm not stopping these margaritas are fire so here a little break i need to retouch my makeup and as i told you i was going to bring my tool and it did work it did work i'm putting it in that link okay now we're actually going to the dinner next idea in that moment when you're trying to figure out where you're gonna sit they use this absolutely beautiful they have your name and where you're gonna sit but the cool thing about this is that yeah okay yeah you know where you're gonna sit but also you can take it home and it's a really nice memory it doesn't look cheesy and it's pretty nice then we move forward to sign this little fabric that again it's all inspired on sail sea ships and stuff that i know nothing about but it looks absolutely beautiful and stunning oh my god the first dance let me know in the comments what will be your song for the first dance i mean yeah your girl it's tearing up every time i mean jesus christ then it's the second favorite part of your girl's night and that's dinner so we did had which was absolutely delicious thank god because if it wasn't really good i mean i still had to eat it because what are the options right but this one was actually really good another thing that i wanted to take a little bit of a video was the flowers because you know to get some ideas you never know it might be helpful one thing for sure is a very nice tradition from the boys for Notre Dame is that every wedding they take a group photo with the university name it's actually really nice and beautiful it's a really nice tradition okay hear me out here another very nice idea and I've seen photo booths like just general photo booth but this one it actually moved around I thought it was so cool so fun if you do have the budget please do this this was so much fun and finally we went we went back home so, actually no we went to an after party where they had this very weird decoration and it was pretty fun <laughs> and then we went back home <laughs> something a little weird that happened is that some of my husband's friends decided to showcase their jiu-jitsu abilities while being drunk which that was very interesting just FYI nobody got hurt but the best part is our makeup was on point I did overeat and overdrink but I was not drunk it don't ask me how and a your girl keep it together her shoes were on the whole time so i will take these little wins with me <laughs> if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to keep hanging out click the subscribe button and become part of the family i love you forever <laughs>